The wait for North Bay commuters is nearly over. The feds have given SMART the green light. Service will start next Friday, August 25th, two years after the original launch date. Riders will be able to catch trains at 10 stations from downtown San Rafael to the Sonoma County Airport. KPX 5's Dolan is live in Petaluma with a long road to getting SMART running. And the big question here, dies: will people ride it? That is the big question, and smart train officials believe people will ride their trains. I mean, this is the first time in 60 years people can ride passenger trains in the North Bay. They think this will transform how people commute in this region. Now, a lot of excitement, but also a little bit of skepticism. That sound. It's music to the ears of eager train riders. I definitely will give it a try. I would love to use it to commute to school because I don't have a car. Quite a few North Bay people tell me they'll be hopping on board. I've been waiting for this for 20 years, so we're really glad that it's 20 years? Yeah, 20 years. I mean, it's been that long they've been talking about doing it, so I'm glad it's finally coming to fruition. Sometimes good things are worth waiting for, and uh, it's pretty exciting it's here. This is why people have been waiting. Traffic on 101 is relentless. This was taken at noon today in Petaluma. Stop and go. And even worse, during the morning and evening commute. A positive option for people like myself living in Sonoma County. The other option you have is Highway 101, which is often congested and often delayed. And, you know, we are reliable, we're dependable. The commuter train system has hit some delays over the years. It was projected to open as early as two years ago. The latest holdup was over a $50 million safety feature called positive train control. The control is designed to automatically stop trains if it senses a potential collision. The feds gave approval yesterday afternoon. If a train is going too fast around a corner, the automatic system will stop the train. There is no human error in this. Smart train officials say they're the first to use it, and it'll be the safest train system in the world. But not everyone is jumping on the bandwagon. The smart train is going to be a white elephant. What do you mean by that? I think it's going to cost a lot of money, and I don't think they're going to have much of a ridership. Ridership for the Golden Gate Bridge transit system is down 10%, but smart train officials are confident people will choose this over this. We know we're safe, we know we're going to be on time, and we can't wait to start service on August 25th. Transit officials project about 3,000 people will use the system on a daily basis. Now, keep in mind, this is a small system, about 10 stations from Santa Rosa to downtown San Rafael. Of course, they'll be adding more stations in the coming years. The base fare starting at $3.50. Live in Petaluma, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.